Hi friends, it's Ho Jonan here. I just want to let you know that this video was brought to you by Lab Exchange. Lab Exchange is an online community for learning, sharing, and collaboration. Lab Exchange create world class digital content delivered on a free online platform that lets you integrate your learning and research experience. Today, I'm going to show you guys restriction digestion. Restriction digestion, also called restriction endonucleus, is a process in which DNA is cut at specific sites. Restriction digestion is usually used to prepare a DNA fragment for subsequent molecular cloning. Now, let's enjoy my demonstration. First of all, set the water bath temperature to 37 degrees Celsius. Second, select P20 micro pipette and set the volume to 4 microliter. And attach the P20 tips. Now, move the restriction buffer to the empty tube rack and open it. By using P20 micro pipette and throw out 4 microliter of restriction buffer. Open the K plus tube and transfer the restriction buffer into the K plus tube. Close the K plus tube and eject the tip to the trash container. Open the P20 tips box and pick a new tip. Now, dispense 4 microliter of restriction buffer into K minus tube. Open the K minus tube and transfer the buffer into the K minus tube. Close it and eject the tip. Now select a new tip and transfer the restriction buffer 4 microliter to the A minus tube. Eject the tip again to the trash container now transfer 4 microliter of restriction buffer into the A minus tube eject the tip Continue the experiment by using the same micro pipette, P20 micro pipette with 4 microliter volume. Dispense 4 microliter of PKANR into the K plus tube. Pick a new tip. Now transfer 4 microliter of PKNR into the K negative K minus tube. Eject the tip by using a new P20 tip, transfer PARA into the A plus tube. Remove 
remove the tip and pick a new tip transfer 4 microliter of PARA into the A minus tube Check the tip and now change the P20 micro iPad to 2 microliter. Set the volume, pick a new tip. And transfer 2 microliter of restriction enzyme into the K plus tube. Use a new tip and transfer 2 microliter of restriction enzyme into the A plus tube. Check the tip. Take a new tip. Now transfer two microliter of distilled water into the A minus tip. Remember, always remove the used tip container to prevent contamination. Now use the T20 new tips and transfer 2 microliter of distilled water into the K minus tube. back to the right. Next, open the micro centrifuge. Place the solution tube into the micro centrifuge. And always remember, check the balance before we start the centrifuge to prevent the machine from damaging. Close the micro centrifuge and Set the timer for 10 seconds and start the centrifuge. So after 10 seconds, remove the solution tube from the micro centrifuge. Move the solution tube to the right. Close the micro centrifuge. So now open the water bath and we move the solution tube to the floating tube right and insert the floating solution tube right into the water bath close the water bath and set the water bath timer for one hour After one hour, we open the freezer, open the water valve and take the tube rack to the freezer. Close the freezer door and that's it. So this is the result we get from this experiment. This is our result and this is the ideal result.
by comparing both sides, both results, we can see there is no difference. That means we have do this experiment with successfully. So that's it for today's video. If you interest to do this experiment on your own, you can go to the link below in this video. And don't forget to give this video a like. Bye bye.